it's 5.43 in the morning on a Sunday. Um, I, I, I usually don't travel on Sundays. I, uh, but why do I, I've got the radio on in the background. What, what kind of operation do I have going on around here? It's tough to leave my girls. Flying to Orlando, Florida. We've got our tax leadership conference. I mentioned it's 544. It's a great learning and education event. To have a successful team with an organization, it's not just one week a year. Culture of teaching and learning has to be embedded in everything people do because, you know, it's a it's a complicated world out there, people. <laughs> I didn't ask what it was to not carry on. I wonder if it's cheaper. And the guy explained to me that I'm paying for the overhead bin space. And I said, that's usually included in the ticket price. But, uh, you know, a business model is a business model. Good for you for extracting an additional $45 for me. It's a little warm for a top goat, but I forgot that I'm going to Boston this week as well. Start my work week on a Sunday. It happens. How's it going? Good yeah, sir. I'm Doug McConey. Do you have my luggage? Oh, this is it. A hundred. Oh, yeah, that's true. Fair enough. This is, I think this is the biggest one. Yeah, it's the biggest in the world, biggest many of them in the world. To made it to the Marriott. There appears to be a very large pool out here. This is all the area that I won't be spending time in this week. Day one. TLC Tax Leadership Conference for PWC, but the teaching and learning begin. Well, in fairness, we already had a full day yesterday, but this is the official day. Let me say um, how proud I am as a partner with, within PWC to have the first African American leader of our tax practice, Roy Weathers. And I'm just so excited, uh, number one, to be represented and led by Roy in our tax practice and number two excited to see what direction he's going to take the tax practice and number three see what kind of energy he's going to bring to TLC. So let's go check it out, shall we? Alright, so it's day 
two of our tax leadership conference. Had a great opening session with Roy. You saw him uh, come onto the stage, and uh, Roy has certainly put his own stamp on the conference and what he wants to do with our tax practice, and it's very inspiring. So today we've got several courses that I'm teaching and attending. Uh, this is always a really fun time. I found out yesterday that I no longer have to attend my meeting in Boston, which means I get to go back to St. Louis a day earlier. So I'll be able to see you in my home office on, on Friday to really kind of wrap up and put into context what uh, creating a, a, an environment and a culture of teaching and learning means and reflect a little bit about what happened at our tax leadership conference this week. Okay, so we'll see you along the journey. needed here but <laughs> thank you again all right man so we're heading to uh, st. Louis this is one of my best friends from high school John Cruson who I ran into at the Orlando Airport check out John's website sketched in that night back at st. Louis waiting for the terminal shuttle I thought I was supposed to be flying from Boston back to St. Louis, so my car is in the wrong turn. Not ideal, but it's good to be home. So I'm working from the home office today. You know, one of the things that I think is really important for high-performing teams is creating a culture of teaching and learning. And so it really creates high-performing teams, and what really creates ultimately high-performing organizations is making sure that the culture of that particular organization and the culture of a particular team is, is where people feel comfortable teaching and learning on a daily basis. What is the most critical is making sure that a leader fosters an environment where people feel comfortable asking questions and people feel like they have time to be able to reflect on what they need to do and what they need to know to be able to do their job or their task or whatever they're particularly doing better. Creating a culture of teaching and learning is critical for high-performing teams and that enables people comfort in asking questions and admitting when they don't know something. So join my vlog next week for why generational stereotypes make no sense and say more about the older generations that are trying to characterize the younger generations than they do the younger generations themselves. Hopefully, you'll stay tuned. See you next week.